welcome to my twin flame journey. I am Shine, and this is going to be the October reading for the Divine Masculine in the sign of Leo. And what you have is your situation, how you think and feel about it, how you should think and feel, what are challenges, obstacles, or lessons that are involved in the situation, how to move through them, what are your hopes and fears, as well as the bottom row is advice from the universe, some positive affirmations, and any chakra work that you might need to do. So let us see what's going on with you. Well, it revolves around the lesson and the end of something. Possibly greed, this kind of behavior, whether this be your doing or the person you were dealing with. If this was a karmic relationship, which obviously it was. It was a lesson that was learned. This could be karmic soulmate. This could be twin flame. Well, probably twin flame. Uh, since this, that's what we're all dealing with here. Return of the twins, right? <laughs> that's the theme. Return of the twins. So the lesson is involved with the way something happened, the way something ended, or a or a behavior needing to be ended. And that is the lesson. But let us see. We have the lesson. Let's, see, let's start from the top. The lesson. Yep. Some shady behavior. Il Nemico. So considering this is the, the male coming out. This must be the masculine that was doing some deception here. The lesson. Oh! <laughs> you got Lenemica. So the two of you, the lesson is involving the two of you kind of going at it and not on each other's good sides right now. Destruction. And like many twin flames, that's what gets brought about. You become, <laughs> because you get so aggravated with each other with all these lessons, is you become each other's rivals or foes, you know, but it shouldn't be looked at that way because things are being brought to the surface that need to be healed. So instead of looking at each other as each other's enemy, when these things come up, we look at each other as each other's partners in crime. <laughs> or try to switch it to something positive. Like, hey, I'm here to awaken something in you and you're here to awaken something in me. And let's look at it from a spiritual perspective and not be our own worst enemies or be enemies towards each other because we're here to teach and learn from each other. If anything, this person is like your best friend because you both incarnated here to help each other, not just to help each other, but that's part of this relationship. Now let's see here, destruction. But remember, you can't fix somebody else. We can't even fix ourselves. It's like work on you, and that person needs to work on them. And then you come in and you compliment each other. But you can't force people to change and grow. Everyone has to do it at their own pace. Well, they're telling you to look towards the future. Something positive. Positive outlook. That was on destruction. So positive outlook as far as maybe... You guys aren't being uh, the rival arch nemesis to each other. Let's see here. Greed. You know that lessons have been learned. Greed. So there's going to be a conversation. So in October, there's going to be a conversation between you and your fellow foe there, trying to figure out, you know, how to move forward after what's transpired, because that's what you want to do. You want to weather the storm. 
and you want a reconciliation and you're trying to figure out a way of how to express that and how you should feel is jealousy maybe you need to take off the mask and reveal how you feel or end this greed or this you know deceptive behavior whatever was involved in in this situation and make a decision you need, might need to make a head or heart decision on whether or not to progress in this or this is just to come together take off your mask reveal how you feel so that you can come together with your other half here jealousy You're sad. You know, you want to get back together. So it's revealing again how you feel. And challenges, obstacles, or blocks for you is to reveal that. Reveal these secrets that you're keeping. And to embrace a new opportunity. Or to say to this person, hey, good news. Uh, I've changed and I've grown and I love you. <laughs> Reveal the good news of how you want to get back together. Let's see. Good news. Yeah, that you want to move forward in a positive direction. Let's see. Secrets. Side. Yeah, but you want to get back together. El Nemio. Strong bond, relationship, marriage, twin flame, soulmate. And how you can. Hold on. Situation, how you feel, how you should think. <laughs> Challenge or obstacles, yeah, and how to move forward. <laughs> I have to. You know, when you've been doing them back to back, you even even though you repeat them, you, you get lost for a moment. All right, how to move past it is to not have any doubts. And to remove this barrier of, you know, revealing the secret that you want to get back together. And that's you, brown-haired man. So they don't want you to have any doubts. You know, the barrier is, is you. Let's see, barrier. Oops. Yeah, trying to figure out. Pensiero. And then you have casa. And then you have disgrazia, which is you got destruction over there. So this is like maybe you're needing to end a situation. You might need to end a situation before you can get into this one. Or your the barrier is revolving around the way this situation ended. And maybe you're trying to figure out a way, you know, maybe you guys used to live together. What you are hoping for is to continue on this journey with the person that you love. And you're hoping that there's peace. And you're hoping that there's faith that things can turn around for the better. And what you fear is that they won't. <laughs> there won't be any victory. And there won't be any reconciliation. This judgment, this is about wake-up calls. This is about choosing a path. This is about reconciliation, using one's judgment. So you're thinking that maybe the, you're fearing the worst, that it won't come together, but you're hoping that it does. And let's see what the universe says. Well, I say chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. 
There's also some codependency. Maybe that's where the greed came in. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Codependency can come in the form of financial dependent on somebody, like living with somebody or in a relationship just so that that person can provide you with the means to survive as that's how you look at it. It could be emotional codependency, fear of being alone, fear of abandonment. And there's lots of reasons for codependent behaviors or it could even be any kind of addictions. It could be drugs, alcohol, gambling, like something that might have affected this relationship. So whatever it is, they're still wanting you to take notice of that and make sure that you get this in check before you get back together in this situation. You know, heal that within us that need to be healed or this person needing to do it or you both needing to do it. If it's a twin flame situation, you both have this problem in one of its many forms or all of their forms. You know, so it's, like I said, it takes two to tango. But they want you to make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So regardless... You know, you're just like many twin flames going through their stuff, going through their lessons. Everybody realizing that they had a role in it. Everyone realizing that they had some childhood wounds that needed to be healed. And that's why we behave the way that we do in our adult lives. You know, a lot of people are getting wake-up calls. Because you don't know what you got till it's gone. You know the saying, I can throw out all kinds of, you know, and lines here. But you know. You know, and, and the fact that you have in realizations, pat yourself on the back for that because it's showing that you've grown and that's what it's all for. So make the effort. And speaking of children, childhood issues, my heart is filled with love for children, which creates miracles and positive changes for them and me. This could be actual children. Maybe you were married and you have children. Or this again, I'm finding from my readings, it's mostly ad addressing the childhood wounds. I said the codependency issues and, and healing the inner child so that the grown-up can have healthier relationships, including with themselves. And having gratitude, as I notice and appreciate my blessings, I open the door to more of God's gifts. Being grateful for the lessons, being grateful for the growth being grateful for this relationship and what it taught you. And if it's your twin flame, be grateful that you found your twin flame, that you're getting on your divine path, that you're realizing who you are, figuring out why you came here, getting on your mission work, all happened as it should. And now it's up to you and how you proceed. And they want you to work on your sacral chakra. You are highly sensitive to chemicals, additives, processed foods, and energies right now. Respect your sensitivities by avoiding harsh items, situations, and relationships. This can go in with the codependency. Whether it's toxic karmic relationships that you got to get out of, toxic karmic conditioning patterns that you live by or have lived by, it's time to let those go. And also... Clearing out your system, divine masculine and divine feminine got it, I think, too. But it was more divine masculine that kept getting the sobriety card. So maybe people are drowning their sorrows and things again. Or, you know, you need to eat right, eat right, exercise, get in touch with your higher self, your spiritual self, meditate, go for walks. You know, clear, clear out your system of anything that's toxic, including energies, negative stinking thinking or, or if you're dabbling in things that you need to lay lay back on you know cle clear yourself and work on your sacral chakra because that stores a lot of those energies fear anger resentment and a lot of that stems from childhood wounding you know maybe people got eating problems too you know you not not everybody soothes the soul by having a drink or dabbling in other things sometimes we look for comfort through food so codependency addictions can come in many forms and they want you to visualize success see yourself doing well in this situation and have faith in a positive outcome and cut your cords ask Archangel Michael to clear any old attachments to fear that stem from past relationships 
freeing you from destructive patterns. That's why you have the tower down now, the destruction here. Destruction here. Sacral chakra that deals with holding in, in that area fears and, and, and hurts and wounds from the past. That's why they want you to, to clear yourself out from that. Because it's only going to help you heal and ascend higher. And think victory. Archangel Sandalphon, your prayers have been heard and answered. Have faith. So you got faith up here too. So they want, they're letting you know all, all is happening as it should. All will be well. And life review. Archangel Jeremiah, take inventory of your life and resolve to change or heal anything that is unbalanced. Again, sacral chakra. Dealing with codependency things, healing the inner child. Look at your life. Look at your, the patterns of relationships that you've had. Have they all been the same? Look at your role in that, and has it always been the same? How do you think about yourself? How do you feel about yourself? How do you treat yourself? Do you love yourself? Do you have self-respect? You know, how are your relationships? Life review. It's time to, what do they say, turn, turn a... Turn the page or to turn it all around. This is an opportunity. The Divine Masculine, I think, is really going through it right now. You're going through your dark night of the soul or your awakening. But the Feminine, it's, it's usually it's already happened. They've been waiting for you, dear, <laughs> to get yours. But everything happens when, when it does. You know, you can't force things. It has to come from within. And you have a desire to manifest now. And yes, I should have shut off my phone. And so I apologize for the phone ringing in the background. Hold on, it's got to do it like think two more times and then it'll stop. And we can listen to the music. All right, where's the voicemail? There it goes. Do I know my phone or do I know my phone? As I love and accept myself, I allow transformation on all levels of my life. Do the shadow work. Let the healing start with you. I am pure within and honor my own truths. Stand in your truth. Speak your truth. Realize who you are and that you're more than who you thought you were up until now. You are a divine soul on a journey. You came here to life school. You signed up for certain classes to learn certain lessons so that your soul can evolve and it all helps with your ascension work. That's why you're here. So if you approach things from that perspective, it, it will shift something within you that you'll look at yourself, your life, your relationships, things that have happened in a completely different way. Because usually through pain being our greatest teacher or suffering or something, that's where we learn and that's where we grow the most. So take anything that you might be going through, any difficulties or challenges, and try to look for the gem that's in there. And usually it's, it's something that's meant to bring out the gem in you. And your chakra that you need to work on is the throat chakra. This is blue. So again, it's speaking a truth. And then this is sacral chakra, I believe, which you have there, which is orange, to focus on service. So let me see. I have my little things I wrote here. Yep, it's sacral chakra, orange, emotional, mastering the skill of steering your emotions. So maybe they're not, you know, looking to other things to numb the pain. So you got that twice, sacral chakra. Keywords are active, motivating, optimistic, emotional, sociable, affectionate, enthusiastic, and humanitarian. That's where the service comes in. And blue is the throat, deals with communication, creative focus, and the ability to be heard and understood. Truth that you feel in your heart. When you deny your heart's knowledge, challenges will present themselves. Keywords are truth, communication, loyalty, faith, spirituality, creativity, expression, and serenity. What's that? On oh, no. Jerry Seinfeld, serenity now. Remember the father used to always yell that out. Uh, <laughs> I love that show. 
That was a good show. Let's see. Bitter, bittersweet. A window is opened as a door gently closes. The legend is we celebrate in the midst of grief. The celebration has been planned for the birthday child. We cannot tell the child that our hearts are not joyous. If merriment rules in our home this day, so does sorrow that a child cannot see. God bless you, departed friend. God bless you, birthday child. Sometimes, I usually don't read the legend because sometimes it's supposed to tell the story of the card. But sometimes I'm left going, huh? Like, it doesn't even kind of like make any sense, but I, I don't know. <laughs> But let us carry on. The inspirational message. The passing of all things is inevitable. Whatever is happening may require release. This card could also represent unexpected news. Personal inquiry. Parents often make difficult decisions not supported by their children. Can I see the strength in the choices of others? Maybe that's why you got children over here too. Key ideas. Hidden blessings. Celebration tempered by sadness. Protecting someone Ability to honor others and new horizons. Key words, poignancy, release, and maturity. You know, so with all things, sometimes it is bittersweet. You know, it's, it's like something crappy had to happen for something good to come out of it. And through through sadness we we in grief you know we find strength so it's like having to go through the crap to find the gem as I said and also it says the ability to honor others you know seeing both sides of the coin again knowing that it takes two to tango everybody's got to own up to their part and then you have hidden blessings here. So there's something to celebrate. Again, you know, have faith. There's victory in the situation, even though there was pain and sadness involved. And this is the passing of all things are inevitable. Whatever is happening may require release or unexpected news. Like, isn't there a message here? Well, somebody is going to deliver some unexpected news. Probably you, right? Oh, service. I didn't read the orange one. See that? Say that. Service? Here we go. I attract to you whatever you desire if you give up your desire. Inspirational message. Should I read the, the legend? <laughs> I might as well because then I'll seem off and my OCD will kick in. The legend. Honey Adams loved her three children very much and had a rewarding family life. Though sometimes she regretted never finding a career outside of the home. At the end of her life, she realizes that this failure was not a failure at all. She achieved something more important, passing on a legacy of service to her daughter, Franny. Being a mother is a great accomplishment. Inspirational messages, are you seeing your life as it really is? Though we may wish things to be different, often we create just what we need. This is an opportunity to look at where you are today. Give up what you think you deserve and start being of service. Life review. Personal inquiry. How does the idea of service inspire me? How can I make the most of my present situation? What can I give? Key ideas. Favoritism. Unwillingness. To compromise values. Finding contentment. The joy of service. Precious memories. Compassion, loyalty, and strength are the key words. So again, it's like, what can I give? You know, make the effort to make the most out of the situation. Life review. See your life. Are you seeing your life as it really is? You know, are we seeing that all things usually happen for a reason? It's to teach us something. To make us stronger. You know, don't be unwilling to compromise, you know, by not hearing both sides of the coins or not accepting our own responsibility for our own actions ourselves, holding ourselves accountable. And this is also about looking into, if you're a twin flame, you need to be doing some kind of service work. So maybe it's looking into that as well. Like, what did you come here to do? How can you serve? Well, overall, I think it's not so bad. You know, it's, it's, there's lots of opportunities. I'm doing all these readings and all the storylines. There's a lot of people are going through this now. 
twins are having an opportunity to come back together as people have learned lessons you know painful things have transpired but new opportunities are coming around to have another chance to make things right and it's all about standing in your integrity standing in your truth speaking your truth opening your heart reflecting on ourselves what did we learn how did we grow how can we be better for ourselves and for other people. Take off the mask, no more secrets, no more shadowy side, you know, heal those things. And, and figure out a way how to say what you wanna say in this conversation here. And be grateful. No matter what in the end, even though things might be bittersweet. And on that note, <laughs> I wish you love, I wish you light, I wish you well, I wish you healing, and I wish you luck in this situation. Don't forget to check your sun, moon, and rising, because all three will give you more messages. And if you'd like a personal reading, the information is below. Oh yes, and also check your Venus sign. I keep forgetting to throw that out there too, because that deals with your love area as well. So whatever your Venus sign is, check that out too, and you'll get another message from there. And did I did I say the spiel? Check yeah. Oh yeah, like, subscribe, and share. See, even written down here, I put the spiel. See, because I have to, <laughs> I need to write things down so I don't forget. Even though, like I said, you're doing them back to back to back, you can start to space out after a while. But anywho, take care, Leo, divine masculines. Keep your chin up. I believe in you, the universe believes in you, your higher self believes in you, now your 3D self has to believe in you. So do the work and all will be good. Until next time, take care. Bye-bye.